Good morning. Hope everyone's having a lovely Monday morning. I got a question from Andre on scroll. Do you have an online reference slash material I can read on? And it made me realize that if you were brand new to scroll, it's um, maybe a bit scattered and overwhelming. And like, what is this thing? What? So I thought I would just try to do a little explanation from scratch. Let's take a look. I'm gonna use my Apple iPad and Apple Pencil. Scroll, what is it? What can I do with it? How can it help me? Try to answer it. How do you get started? I try to answer that, that sort of thing. All right, so, um, scroll is a big idea. So where do we get started? Let's, I guess, let's start in the simplest place. Um, it's a language. So, and not only that, you can use it as a very simple language, like Markdown, to start with. Um, and now, what do I mean by that? Well, let's do an example. Um, let's go to, oh, where are we here? There we go. Let's go over to scroll.pub, and this is kind of the, the homepage for the language project. And let's click on try now. And this just gives us a little scratch pad where we can uh, explore the basics of, of scroll. And this kind of shows us scroll as a markdown alternative. So um, on the left, I write some scroll code. On the right, it generates some HTML. So very similar to markdown in that way. And you know markdown has headers, okay. And now scroll has some pretty um, neat things like that you can't do in Markdown. Like if you want to make this a link, all you have to do is do a space and start typing the link. If you want to bold some things, you know you can do it like Markdown. Like, um, oh. oh, this is a header. So um, I don't know. If Okay, so if you want to bold something, you can just do that, or you can write bold afterwards. If you want to bold a word, you can do it like that, or you can do it, say we want to bold aloha, we could do it oops, like that. Um, so these are all minor things. We call this after text. Um, so that's one way to, that's kind of the first way to think of scroll as an alternative to Markdown. And why would you use it over Markdown? Well, there's, you can do everything you can do in Markdown, but you can also do quite a lot of sophisticated things. Like if you want to do a map, you can just write the word map, start customizing it. Um, if you want to make a table, you can just write the word table. You can do all kinds of data science right in line. Um, um, there's, a, there's a whole lot of things you can do. Um, and I won't go over all of them. There's you know, well over a hundred of th things that come built in. But if you want to click on the lead sheet, you can kind of see um, all of the various things that you can do that chip that come directly in the basic one. So, and if you click on any one, you'll see an example. So you, we have checklists and you can do nested checklists and um, you know, that sort of thing. Themes, you can just change by changing one word. Uh, you can design your own custom themes. So, um, so you might wanna just, get, that's a great place to get started is just using it as an alternative to Markdown. But now it gets more interesting than that. But anyway, let's go back. Let's uh, we'll call this 
Oops. We'll call this number one. And then number two, it's a powerful language. Actually, no, let's go number two. <laughs> let's show scroll hub number two. All right. So if we go back to scroll, we click on scroll hub. Um, we can go ahead and create a new website. So let's just do, let's say we're making a website for Northwest Dairy. And now we could type in .com, but because if we own that domain and we would just point that domain, we'd create an A record DNS and just point, give it the IP address for Squirrel Hub. Um, but we don't own that domain and um, anyway so let's build a um, Northwest Dairy since 1918 delivers great milk or something okay we'll build a website for some fictional dairy company and now look behind the scenes what we've what we did in that second it's not we created a website live on the web we provisioned an ssl certificate we did all that and um and we gave you an editor so now any any updates you make here um get published you can click the publish button or you can just hit command s to 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 make that um now what else can you do um let's change the theme to dark you can, you can, um, let's just watch this. We're gonna go ahead and um, we're gonna clone that site to my local computer. Every site on Scroll Hub um, is backed by Git. Um, so we're gonna, let's, let's create a new page. Um, we're just going to touch about dot scroll, you know, touch command. Let's make a about us page. Um, and we're going to push that, push that like I normally would, get push. So you can develop locally, offline, or just use the, 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 um, what you call it, the web editor on Scroll Hub. Let's make a header. And now we're gonna to start to see the power of this language. So in the header, we wanna, we're just, we, we're gonna write that word import only so we don't make a file called header.html. Um, but we can go back to this index page and we can get this this stuff, save that. And then if we go to the about page, let's change the title to about us and let's include that header file. That's how you include a file. You just write the file name and scroll. Um, so we don't need this anymore. We can, so now we have that in the header file. Um, and let's go ahead and let's go back to our local machine. Let's pull those changes. And let's do the same thing and make a, a footer file. Um, where's that? All right, we'll make these links. We'll put these links in the footer. Um, and we'll link it so index.html, home will go there, and about.html will go to about us. And look at this. Now we can we can also use scroll locally to build the site. And we can play with it online. So we we go back to the index file. We gotta include the, the footer now. And in the about file, let's include a footer too. About us. 
And actually in the header, let's uh, let's print the title. And let's build it locally again. We'll preview our stuff locally. Oh, and in, you know, in the index file, we don't have a title. So north, west, dairy. Northwest dairy, and we've got our about page. Okay. Now, you can also quickly imagine that you can do this hand in hand with an LLM, and we'll even make put in our own built-in integration with that very, very soon, before the end of the year, probably in the next month. But as you can see, we can just we're just quickly putting together uh, this site, and we're we're it's so simple and yet so advanced. There's we're kind of unlimited. So then, so that's kind of a, just a brief demo of Scroll Hub. Um, and then what, let's go with um, number three. Databases. So as you can see, kind of, we've gotten rid of a lot of things you don't need. We've gotten rid of syntax, we've gotten rid of the pain in the butt of of setting up your staging environments and all that like you just create a new folder oh I should I should, I should show that so so now so now we've got this going say we wanted to um, just make a another throwaway site here is a copy of the site that we just were working on totally in a different folder we've already done it live you can clone this one um, just just blazing everything is designed to not do anything unnecessary and really to make things blazing fast so now you've got a live copy of that site that we were just editing and now we can say Southwest area and we can change the theme to I don't know um, let's change it to um, Roboto and um, you know, and but our existing site, Northwest Area, still is the same. So we've built two websites. Interesting. So there's just a real when you when you really reduce things to make them as simple as possible, you don't sacrifice any capabilities, but you really pick up a ton of speed and time savings. So now the next thing is databases. Um We've invented something called scroll sets. So you don't need a database anymore. You just, it just writes to plain text files. Um, so for example, here's a site called YFinder. This is powered entirely by scroll hub. And it shows you Wi-Fi hotspots and the speeds. So, so look, so oh, here's, that's where I am right now. We're in Hawaii, so yeah. Here, here, here are all the places in, in the Waikiki area that you can get Wi-Fi. You can see the different speeds, like this McDonald's. That is fast. So now you'd think that this comes from a database traditionally, but it doesn't. Here's here's how you um, you add data. We got this simple form, and you can see it looks like scroll. And of course, it's not beautiful yet. That that'll come. But here's the data. Um, this is it. It's just stored as plain text. These are all your records. So, so traditionally, this would be stored as binary in a MySQL blob file, in ODB or um, or SQLite blob, binary blob. We don't do that. We don't. You don't need to do that anymore. Um, SSDs have become so fast. Git has become so fast that you can literally just write all your records to plain text, and this opens up so many new possibilities. You can really just do totally new things you couldn't even dream of before. And there's no database set up. It's fantastic. It's such a joy. And yet you don't lose any capabilities. Now you might think, oh, okay, this isn't scale. But look, he has PLDB. This runs off the exact same thing. All of the PLDB data 
over 5,000 entries or about 400 columns is stored using this system. And it all compiles down to CSVs and, and generates this massive website with thousands of pages of content that's been built by well over 100 people have contributed data to this um, over seven years. It's all running on Scroll Hub, all running on Scroll. No database. But it's all strongly typed. It's all version controlled using Git. Um, so yeah, it's just wild what you can do with this. With, with how much you can do with so little. So that's number three. And then number four. Let's talk about the scroll or the worldwide scroll. And this is what we're, we're moving toward ultimately. So we've got all these new technologies. We've got a new language that's just radically simple yet incredibly powerful. We've got um, a new kind of database. We have this new platform. So, so think about this, this, okay. So replaces Markdown. Scroll replaces Markdown. Scroll Hub replaces GitHub. Database replace SQL. And, and the worldwide scroll replaces the web. Um, now, what is the worldwide scroll? This is a web that is a public domain. It works offline. It has an edit button. It's a web with an edit button. Um, so I have this running on my machine. And you know, this is pretty beta, worldwide scroll. But I can open it. And here's all these sites. Um, this, this is the PLDB. It's running entirely on my local machine. Look how blazing fast it is because it doesn't need to go to the web at all to, to download these requests. Good morning. Um, and you can, with the, with the worldwide scroll, you can start to do things like build pages that are built by pulling in data from all of these other sites. So this, this is a simple example, but this kind of a new speed is pulling um, new pages from, from all these sites on the scroll, from scroll to my blog to PLDB. Uh, and that's just the tip of the iceberg, what you could do. But imagine if you had a copy of all of civilization's knowledge in your pocket. That's what we're building toward with the scroll. Um, and so that is it. That's um, that. Uh, there's a lot. There's, this is a big. This is a big thing. Simple, but very large. Very ambitious. Um, but it's the math is solid. We're made, we're growing rapidly. Um, there's going to be lots of ups and downs along the way, and there's a lot of unpolishedness to it at the moment. Um, so you do have to squint a little bit, envision the future. Everything will look fantastic. It will be smooth sailing though that you won't have the bugs that we have now, but, but it's the early days. Think of the web in 1994, 1995, 96. That's kind of what, where we are now. It's like right before it's really taken off. And um, there's a lot of things to, there's a lot of pieces that need to be built. So there's a lot of opportunities for people to um, join early and um, get in on the ground floor and really be one of the pioneers, one of the builders of this thing. Um, so yeah, let's do it together. That's it. That's sorry, it's a long winded um, answer. But uh, I hope that was a helpful overview of, of uh, sorry, of a, of a big thing. All right. Have a great Monday, everyone. Cheers.